Hello everyone. My name is Afuseni Wasalefu. I am the CEO of Land Reality Consult. Land Reality Consult is a consulting firm dedicated to promoting geographic information system and remote sensing, land governance and land management issues, estate agency that is buying and selling of landed properties to just mention a few. So if you are interested in the above thematic areas, kindly subscribe to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the New Land Act, 2020 Act 1036. In my other video, I talk about uh, the historical antecedent of the New Land Act, how it started and how it became a law. I also talk about the features of uh, the act and I concluded that the act was a good or is a good uh, law but it needs uh, implementation to operationalize it. Ghana we are very good in making laws but the implementation and the operationalization of the law is always our problem. So today uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the offenses under the act and the penalties associated with each offense. The offenses under this act and the penalties are really uh, huge. So let's get started. The first offense is about alienation. When you unlawfully alienate a piece of land to another person, you commit an offense under the act. And what is the penalty for that kind of offense? The penalty is that you are liable to a fine no less than 5,000 penalty units. 5,000 penalty units is about 60,000 Ghana CD and not more than 10,000 penalty units which is about 120,000 Ghana city. Very huge uh, penalty associated with alienating a piece of land that is not yours. So we should be very careful. All those fraudsters, people who claim to own a piece of land and sell them to people can be charged under this act. There's a lot of indiscriminate sales of land everywhere by people who do it unlawfully. They don't own it. So that is the offense for such people. You are liable to no less than 5,000 penalty units. That's 60,000 Ghana CD. And no more than 10,000 penalty units. That's 120,000 Ghana CD or to a term of imprisonment no less than seven years. Seven years in imprisonment. <laughs> if you enter Ghana prison for even one year, you will learn sense, you will know what is happening. And no more than 15 years or both. Look at this. The punishment is really huge. Enough to deter people from uh, engaging in this kind of act. Another um, offense is with relation to encroachment. That is, a person convicted of encroachment for public lands shall be liable to a fine of no less than 1,000 penalty units. 1,000 penalty units, about 12,000 Ghana CD, and no more than 2,000 penalty units, which is about 24,000 Ghana CD, or to a term of imprisonment no less than one year and no more than uh, three years or to both. So that is encroachment. Encroachment is when you illegally enter someone's land to construct or to put a structure or to use the land without the knowledge of that person. And that's the kind of pen uh, penalty for you. A fine of no less than 12,000 Ghana CD and no more than 24,000 Ghana CD. Or imprisonment of one year, no less than one year, and no more than um, 
three years or to both. So that's kind of uh, uh, punishment for people who encroach land, other state land or any other person's land. So let's move to the other um, offenses. Another offense is uh, obstruction. A person who obstructs an appropriate agency from ejecting an encroacher commits an offense and upon conviction shall be liable to find no more than 1,000 penalty units. That's 6,000 Ghana CD. And not more than 1,000 penalty units. That's 12,000 Ghana CD. Or to a term of imprisonment of no less than six months and not more than 12 months or to both. That is meant for people who abstract appropriate person from ejecting an encroacher. So this is more like land guards. In the Ghanaian palace, we have people like land guards who uh, protest land of another person so if those people uh, obstruct an appropriate agency from ejecting someone who illegally staying or living on another person piece of land, that person who's obstructing the agency is, is liable for that kind of, uh, to those kind of punishments. And another one is the Land Act therefore seeks to deal with um, public officers who illegally sell state or government lands. So if you are a government official who connive with other people to sell government lands, you should be very careful. This act you can be in the net of this land act and it says that a public officer convicted of any of the above offenses shall be liable to a fine no less than 1000 penalty units that's 12000 ghana cd and no more than 2000 penalty units that's 24000 ghana cd or to a term of imprisonment of no less than than two years and no more than five years or to both. So that is it. So if you are a government officer who falsify records, who fraudulent deal with registration of documents, if you fraudulently register land documents, if you fraudulently uh, destroy documents, and if you fraud, uh, fraudulently deal with electronic evidence, you are liable to that kind of a punishment. So public officers should be very careful when they are dealing with land, uh, uh, falsifying documents and other related uh, offenses. Another offense under the Land Act 2020 is a person who alienates land without a title or purpose to grant land with that authority. So if you are trying to alienate, trying to transfer your interest, respect a piece of land to another person with that uh, title or with that authority, or make conflicting grants, that's multiple sets of land, in respect of the same land to two or more persons, commits an offense. Upon conviction, shall be liable to a fine no less than 7,500 penalty units. That's about 90,000 Ghana CD. What? And not more than 15,000 penalty units. That's about 180,000 Ghana Ghana City, or to a term of imprisonment of no less than seven years and not more than uh, 15 years. So these are offenses under the Act. And another offense is that 
the act is also very hard on people who hold land on behalf of other people that's the fiduciary holders people who owns land on behalf of a community a family or a small uh, group of people or on behalf of uh, someone so chiefs and family heads falls under this category so the asset is that a manager who fails to account in accordance with the law commits an offense and upon conviction shall be liable to a fine not less than five thousand penalty least that's sixty thousand Ghana CD and no more than ten thousand penalty that's about one hundred twenty thousand Ghana CD or a term of imprisonment not less than five years and no more than ten years so that is it if you are um, a chief and you sell land or properties belonging you are holding you trust for another person or group of people you should account to uh, such people if you don't account to such people you are liable to those kind of uh, punishment another of them is to a skin of family which has allowed their title to land when you are granted such land to any other person you should seek for uh, consent and concurrence from uh, the lands commission so uh, basically that is the most uh, important uh, offenses under the act 2020 act 1036 so this act uh, will help to sanitize uh, the land administration regime of the country to help to solve a lot of problems like encroachment of state or public lands. Um, it also helps to uh, reduce the multiple sales of land. It also helps to reduce uh, public officers who uh, falsify documents, who uh, sell uh, state lands and other public land from doing uh, so. So um, the penalties associated with this act are very huge and it will serve as a deterrent for people who wants, who are committing such crimes or who wants to commit such crimes. It is a very good law, but it should be implemented very well to achieve the intended aims and objectives. Thank you very much. Let's make Ghana great. Can't you subscribe to my channel for more uh, educational videos. Thank you very much. Bye bye.